Now, to support vulnerable women facing economic challenges in Nigeria, United Nations Women and the Zamani Foundation have empowered 300 women in Kaduna State with starter parks and financial assistance. This initiative aims to uplift petty traders, business women, widows and individuals with disabilities, enhancing their economic conditions and fostering self-reliance. During the presentation in Sabo, Abena Henry, the International Pro Project Coordinator for the Zamani Foundation, highlighted the importance of supporting women who are rough on the backbone of their families and communities. You empower women. You are empowering at least five people. Because most women have access to children and to their spouses, their husbands, and sometimes the community. The point here is to give them that support, both by giving them the business kits of grinding machines for the people who ask for feed for their poultry and their, the other animals that they take care of, that they raise to sell for income. Some people are into food manufacturing. All of these people, once we give them the support they need, by giving them physical materials and training support, they can empower at least five more people. We from 500 people plus the 100 women here, that's 600 people. Imagine what will happen and the exponential growth as we continue to support women. So we call on all stakeholders, wherever they may be, please join forces with us as we continue to empower women in the millions, not just. Executive Director of the Zamani Foundation, Dr. Talat Zamani, highlighted that economic challenges disproportionately impact women who are vital to nation building and family cohesion. Beneficiaries express gratitude for the provided machine, noting that it would boost the economy and aid business growth, or legend government to address ongoing economic issues. Considering the economic um, situation in the country now, see, see how they can empower women. Now, this is women who have um, their business, they need to upscale their businesses. So we have a category of not women that um, are being empowered. It's a single household, widows, single mothers, young mothers, elderly women, HIV, positive um, women. Empowerment is very strategic because we want to give them anything, but we want to ensure that it is the, what they really want. So we had them in different categories. Some of them want a grinding machine, sewing machines. Some of them want poultry. They have they're running poultry, so they want um, poultry feeds. Some want the chicks, like a category of things that they wanted. And so he said that instead of just giving them these things and then letting them go, it is important that they learn several. Uh, things which is very important. Uh, one of them is the financial inclusion training. So today we are having this financial inclusion training for these women so that they know how to keep their books right. We run 300 women. They are cut across the 23 local governments. It will impact into my life in a very, very positive way. One, I am saving money from grinding. That money that I'm saving from grinding, I can actually use it to buy more grains. But if I have a machine, the grinding machine already, it will help me. The money I'm supposed to use to go and grind, I will add it and buy these things and keep in bulk. So it will not affect my business. Secondly, I will also grind for others. I'm having more profit. That means that, you know, I will be able to help my family. You know, the more my children are in school, my husband and all that. Lately, I'm feeling great because this thing will help us in so many ways, especially in this um, what is happening in this country, Nigeria, help my family, everybody around me to help. In fact, the government should be the ones doing what she is doing. Because what she, he, the, the government should do is to do more than what she is doing. Because we are citizens of this country. And if we do, we are lack, then the government, that means the government too are lacking. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.